Let's find out what's winding up Russell Kane. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> this genuinely wasn't planned. This is one thing I would like to put in room. <laughs> room 101 is men who get grumpier with age. What? And I, I'll tell you what. <laughs> not because I've got any problems with these men, although it would be nice to be around men in their 50s, 60s and 70s who are p happy all the time. It's just that I think men would be healthier, happier creatures if we weren't so miserable. Most men, not all men, now and again you do see a happy old man, but it becomes like it's something you stop at pointing at in the street. If you see like a normal wisdom, look at that happy old man, it's amazing. I don't know, I don't know what the secret is, I've always been like it. <laughs> <laughs> Most men are walking along going, why am I alive? <laughs> and some, some men, you get so miserable, they can only laugh, you know, if they see, I don't know, if they see a car written off on the M25 motorway, look at, <laughs> look at the state of that Jaguar, that'll never run again. <laughs> <laughs> we live men of this country, five to seven years less than women. Doesn't happen in every country. And my theory... <laughs> it's women cheering. <laughs> my theory is this. We think ourselves to death, yeah? The less happy you are, the less likely you are to live a long and happy life. Lonely people die before. Now, we know that, on the whole, women tend to be, not always, more emotionally connected than men. If they've got a problem, they get their friends over. Hey, I've got Claude over, I've got Tessa over. We talked about the problem, there wasn't a solution, but we lit a candle, and do you know what? I feel better just for talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas men... That's how it works. Uh, whereas men will be like, if I have a problem, I'm going to hold it inside till it's a diamond, then pull it out and die. <laughs> now, the evidence is, in, in cultures like parts of Sicily, Sardinia, Japan, where there are villages where men can't sort of do that isolation thing, I need time on my own, and the houses are full of aunts and grandmas and daughters, the men's mortality rate equalises with the women. We are literally, by being grumpy, thinking ourselves to death. We go, oh, I'm not going to speak to anyone, heart attack, death at 60, leaving behind a generation of women, relatively young these days, who then have to pretend to grieve. How will I survive without the miserable sod? What a disaster. <laughs> How will I go on? <laughs> without Barry mocking my parking, how will I survive? You can park forever in the crematorium. Goodbye, Barry. <laughs> End of point.